Hi guys, Tim here doing another um, medal, First World War medal uh, military review and this time will be on the very famous uh, First World War 1919 British Victory Medal. Now the Victory Medal was of course issued uh, to all British and Commonwealth slash allied forces who fought in the First World War and of course in 1919 uh, it was a victory for the Allies, for well not only the Allies back then but you know the British slash Commonwealth uh, and other nations forces uh, so a medal was constructed all in, uh, all in kind of a brassy type uh, structure um, and each country so France uh, US Britain um, what else Italy loads of other uh, countries who are part of the allied forces in the first world war got their own separate victory medal, made their own separate victory medal, but this one is the one you're going to find most common, this is the standard British First World War victory medal. Got the angels, like the angels of Mons, uh, which will come up, will be another video on that, uh, and now uh, it's got uh, the Great War for civilians 1914-1919, now technically it's for civilians and for uh, armed forces soldiers as well, and on the back there it says all that, but if that was actually in, if it had, if that was in South African or had South African writing on the back, uh, that means it would be a South African victory medal because the South Africans fought alongside the British, so they got the same victory medal. But on the back here, it wouldn't be in English; it would be in South African. So yeah, but here is a standard First World War victory medal, and like every other First World War British and Commonwealth. Medal, War Medal, Victory Medals, 1415 15 stars, all that, First World War Medals are named. So this guy is named to uh, 54422 to Private G.F. Bloster uh, of the Hampshire Regiment. So you probably won't be able to see that, but so it goes 544, mm, oh no, sorry, 5449. Mm, to Private G F Bloster Hampshire Regiment. Um, so yeah, that's nice. And of course, victory medals you can be like just like the war medal comes in um, a trio or pair. And the brilliant thing about this, I've actually got right here Bloster's actual uh, medal card service records. So I just try and get that out. So, the Bloster, uh, Gerald F. Bloster, his name, um, Hampshire Regiment, Private, and his service number there. And then, the, good, the interesting thing about this, he changed in the exact same year, I think it was 1914, 1915 I believe it was, kind of that, the, through those two years, he changed from the Hampshire Regiment to the Labour Corps, still a private, but it was of course a different um, service number, and then the Royal Fusiliers, which is very interesting, because why would you go from a, a main battle regiment to a Labour Corps, which is uh, interesting, and then, and then again suddenly back, I think it was actually in 1914, then back to uh, the Royal Fusiliers, who by the way, the Royal Fusiliers in the First World War were the elite, the British were the elite, and of course when he's in the Royal Fusiliers, he has a different service number. Uh, and then it shows you all that, then down here it shows you Brit British, so it means war medal, victory medal at the top, and then star. Then he didn't get a star, from what it says here. He did get the war medal and, and of course, his victory medal. So that means, as he didn't get a 14-1 star or 14-15 star, um, he was in, uh, oh, what's the word, um, a war type occupation so basically that means um, your occupation is reliable helpful to the war effort so that means he doesn't go into the war in, when it starts in 1914 he would go in there in say 1917 um, and try to remember the word um, what was it it's basically wartime occupation um, so jobs which relate to the war, help with the war effort um, so yeah that's been a little quick um, military uh, First World War medal review um, of Bloster, Gerald F. Bloster, his First World War British 
um, victory medal. So, thanks for watching, guys. See ya, and bye.